Hi, I'm Kathy Rafferty, pastor at Memorial United Methodist Church in Gladstone, Michigan. Back in the 1970s, when I was growing up, I watched a lot of low-budget disaster movies. One came to mind this week with Lisa, our office administrator, out of the office and me flying solo here. In the 1971 movie called Terror in the Sky, the flight crew of an airline jet all get food poisoning in mid-flight. And one of the passengers with some pilot experience is coaxed into flying this big jet plane. There's a professional airline pilot on the ground who coaches him over the radio so that he can safely land the plane. I guess that's a spoiler alert if you were going to look up terror in the sky. Anyway, that's sort of what it's been like in the church office. Getting out the newsletter, getting Sunday worship ready, and as it happens, this was the week for sending out our annual Thanksgiving offering letter, and um, we decided to combine it with our annual pledge drive. So I got one hand on the copier and one hand on the computer and Lisa on speakerphone coaching me along from home. And Lisa also manages to organize our mission committee and church council meetings over Zoom from home this past week and take care of a thousand other details that I'm probably not even aware of while quarantining at home with her family while fighting COVID. So, while I sat folding letters, labeling and stuffing envelopes, I couldn't muster much of a feel sorry for myself. I'm inconvenienced. I'm a little bit busier than usual, but that's it. I've got an experienced pilot talking me through the mysteries of mass mailings and office administration. And I've got all of you ready and willing to help out in whatever ways seem safe and prudent at any given moment. In fact, I did get some help finishing up today from a volunteer, so hopefully you'll be seeing your letter in the mail any day now. In the spirit of Paul's letter, the first one he wrote to the Thessalonians, I set myself to turning my grumbling into gratitude. At the close of his letter, Paul writes this, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Rather than grumbling through each label on each envelope, I started looking at the names and lifting you in prayer. Recalling to mind what I could about who you are, what may be going on in your life just now, asking God to hold you close. Some of your names I know really well, grateful for the relationships that we have. Others I've maybe only met once or twice, or maybe we connect on Facebook. A few names I didn't know at all. I'll take those as opportunities to make some pastoral phone calls. I share this experience as an invitation to you all to take the inevitable disruptions and inconveniences, even the actual disasters and devastations, as opportunities to listen to those voices around you who can talk you through a crisis, bring you to a safe landing, to lean on one another and to lean into God's grace and God's goodness. As Paul writes in another of his letters, the one to the Philippians, in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I also share this experience as an opportunity to let you know our Thanksgiving letter is on its way to those of you for whom we have contact information. We're asking that you consider making a special Thanksgiving offering this year through Memorial United Methodist Church. This year, half of the offering is going to go to support the local food pantries in place of what we would usually do in November, which is a 
big in gathering of of canned goods and and various foods that will do, would donate to a food pantry. Instead, this year we're going to take half of our Thanksgiving offering for that. And the other half of the offering will support the general operations here at Memorial United Methodist Church. So I hope that you'll look for that letter and make that offering. Now, if you're one of the folks who've been connecting with us online this year, sharing our worship experiences and these check-in videos and whatever else we've, we've got going on online, I'm inviting you to do a couple things as well. First, consider making a contribution to our Thanksgiving offering. You'll be helping to feed the hungry in our area and also supporting the ongoing ministries here at Memorial United Methodist Church, the ministries that provide this online content and do so much else. So you can go to our website, www.gladstonechurch.org and click on the contribute tab. It's on the left side of the page and then follow the prompts. There's an option to make a specific contribution to the Thanksgiving offering. And second, please consider getting more connected to our congregation. On our website, you can also find a contact us tab on the left side of the page. If you click on that, there'll be a place you can see all of our contact information. You're welcome to send an email. You can also connect with me through Facebook, send a message. I'd be glad to hear more about who you are, what's gotten you connected into watching us online, and also to share a little bit more about our congregation and who I am and, and how we may be able to develop a deeper relationship. Our Thanksgiving letter this year also includes a pledge card. If you're getting one of the letters, you'll see that. It's an opportunity for those of you connected to Memorial Church to make an annual financial pledge to our church for the coming year, 2021. Making an annual financial pledge is one of those practices of our faith, one of those things that we do that deepens and sustains our faith. It encourages each of us to reflect on all that God has given us and to consider what God may be calling us to give in the year ahead. It also helps our leadership more confidently budget for 2021 and reminds each one of us to practice generous giving and faithful stewardship throughout the year. It's a commitment we make to God, to ourselves, and to our siblings in Christ to be faithful in our giving and in our trusting God to provide throughout the coming year. Now, if you don't receive a letter in the mail from us and you are expecting that you should. Um, if you're interested in making a financial pledge or if you have any other kinds of questions, please do let us know either here through a, a message on Facebook or through our website, www.gladstonechurch.org. Meanwhile, I do hope that you have a blessed Thanksgiving full of reasons to be grateful to God and to each other. And I pray we all find ways to rejoice always, to pray without ceasing, to give thanks in all circumstances. So thanks for watching and I hope you check back again soon.